back to my channel. So today I have an awesome, exciting, really cool product to share with you guys. So this, this is a new product. I think it's a new product. I think it's been out for like a month, maybe a month, maybe two months. Um, but for anybody who knows me, sorry, I almost dropped something. Anyways, for anybody who knows me, you know that I really, really, really like Hourglass products. Hourglass Cosmetics products. They're so luxurious. They're beautiful. They're very elegant. They're kind of expensive, but I absolutely love their products. I love their, um, blushes. I love their ambient lighting powders. I love their eyebrow pencil. I just really love their products. And one product that they don't have any of is eyeshadows until now. So right now, um, the end of 2014, Barney's, the department store Barney's New York, has an exclusive product that only they are selling for Hourglass Cosmetics. So for those who don't know, Barney's does sell cosmetics. They sell NARS. They sell Hourglass. They sell a lot of really good products there. So I don't know if you haven't ever been in there before, check it out. But um, anyways, I'll stop blabbing and I'll start to talk to you about the product. So this is an exclusive product only to Barney's New York for now. Um, the cosmetics lady told me that starting in January for their spring line, they are releasing five of the same exact type of product, five more eyeshadow palettes that will be sold everywhere Hourglass is sold, so like Sephora, um, and all the department stores, all the other department stores that sell Hourglass, so we'll be getting this palette later in 2015, so never fear if you don't have a Barney's near you, but if you do, let me tell you about this product. It is absolutely amazing. So the price point is really, really high. It is... I want to say it was like $58, really close to $60 with tax and everything. Uh, but this is one of their eyeshadow palettes. So it's in the same range as like Chanel. It's kind of like in that same range. When you open the product up, the box and the palette itself looks very similar to their blush palette or their ambient lighting palette. So here is the ambient powder, ambient lighting powder palette. And here is the eyeshadow palette. You can see it's just a tiny bit smaller, but it's the same color as the powder palette. When you open it up, it has a nice, lovely little mirror right here. And then here is what the eyeshadows look like. So there are five different colors in here. And the awesome and most unique thing about this is kind of the design of the palette itself. So you can see they all kind of run together. It's not your typical pans, like little circular or square pans that are all separated. They all kind of like run together in this pretty little wave design. So I thought that was kind of cool. But it does come with five shadows. There are four matte shadows and then one really pretty like shimmery shiny color right here. So absolutely gorgeous. The formula of these shadows is so amazing. They feel unlike anything I have ever felt before. They are just so incredibly like buttery and smooth and soft and just they feel very similar to the Lorac powders. So if you've ever swatched a Lorac palette before or Lorac eyeshadows before, they feel very similar to that, only even more soft, even more smooth, even more buttery, if you can even imagine that. The downside to having such soft and smooth and buttery powders is there is a lot of fallout for the darker colors. So that is probably the only negative is like the fallout that I experienced as I was applying it. I had to kind of use my Wet Beauty Blender quite a bit to kind of help me um, clean up as I was going. So that was the downside. But if you can look past the fallout, the buttery feeling of these powders is just Oh, it is absolutely gorgeous. The color range is really great. So the color of this palette, first of all, let me tell you that, is in the color Infinity. So this is the neutral version. The other four palettes that are going to be coming out, I don't know if they're also going to be neutral or if they're going to be colored. I imagine they will probably be colored like purples and blues and greens, but I don't know. So I'm anxious to see in January what the other colors are, but this one is all neutral. So you have your awesome like range of colors here. 
You have your highlighting color here, which is fantastic. You have two really awesome crease color choices here. Um, so you have kind of like a more warmish, reddish, orangish version here, which is what I used today. And then you have more of like a tan, cool toned here. Both would be really awesome in your crease. Then the middle color right here is uh, this really pretty, like, shimmery kind of satin color. It reminds me a lot of Satin Taupe by MAC, so if you're a fan of that color, it reminds me a lot of that. Um, very, very pretty. It's not, like, glittery, like, chunky, shimmery, glittery, but it is, like, a really, really pretty, like, satiny um, shimmer color, I suppose. And then you have your really dark kind of crease color right here. So I'm wearing four of these shadows. I'm wearing the highlighting color on my brow bone as a highlight. This would also work really good as like an inner corner, um, uh, inner corner like brightening color. <laughs> Brain freeze there. Um, I'm also wearing the reddish orangish color here in the crease of my eye. This was the first color that I applied. It applies so amazingly. Um, they blend so, so well, first of all. So really, really pretty. Um, then I'm also wearing the middle color all over my lid. Um, and when I put this on second, this one blended so beautifully with the crease color. I got my Sigma F40 brush and I just kind of blended it all together. Oh, it worked fantastically. These colors blend so much easier than any any shadows, the, the Chanel shadows I own, Urban Decay, they, they blend so much better than any other shadows I've ever blended before. <laughs> that sounds weird. Anyways, then I'm wearing the really, really dark color here on the outer part of my eye, like the outer one-third of my eye. This one was great. In fact, that one did not have very much fallout. The color that had the most fallout was the middle, like the shimmery color there. The darker one, surprisingly, didn't really have a whole lot of fallout, so... That was kind of cool, but really super pretty here. This one also blended beautifully with the rest of the colors on my eye. Then I went back to this like orangish, tannish, beigeish color right here, and I put it on my lower lash line just to kind of add some definition to my lower lash line, and then I blended it into the upper lash line. Such a pretty color. I absolutely love and it. I have to say, I am uber impressed. It is very expensive. I will let you know that right up front. It is very expensive, but the formula is fantastic. The color range is absolutely beautiful. They swatch like no other. They are so super soft and finely milled and very pigmented, very buttery. They are just gorgeous. All right, guys. Well, that is all that I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this little mini review slash tutorial um, and all the swatches of this product. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. I am loving this product and I hope that you will too. Um, if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, of course, you know where to leave them right down below. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll talk to you next time. Bye guys.